Good evening. This regular meeting of March 20th, 2023 of the Dubuque Community School District Board of Education is called to order. Our mission is to develop world-class learners and citizens of character in a safe and inclusive learning community. Roll call, please. Bradley? Here. Jones? Here. Parks? Here. Prohaska? Here. Ryan? Here. Sancy? Here. Whitman? Here. Great. So we'd like to welcome some guests to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Can you tell us your name and your grade? Henry Schmeler, fourth grade. Bailey Schuler, fifth grade. Gracie Schmeler, fifth grade. Lucy Schmeler, kindergarten. Seth Full, third grade. Leo Medina, first grade. Sophie Medina, third grade. Go ahead. I pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Great job. Being here. These are students from Sageville Elementary. Yeah. <laughs> Good high fives. I move the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting of February 13th, 2023, the special meeting of February 6, 2023, strategic plan update session, February 27th, 2023, and the special meeting of March 6, 2023 as submitted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting of February 13th, 2023, the special meeting of February 6, 2023, strategic plan update session February 27th, 2023, and the special meeting of March 6, 2023 as submitted. Is there any discussion? We were busy. Yep, a meeting. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. All right, so that brings us to board salutes, and I believe there are three board salutes out there. Would you like to start? Sure, I'll start. A board salute goes out to the Dubuque Senior High School Drama Department, and especially their director, Aaron Dean, for planning and hosting the outstanding 100th anniversary performance and grand reopening of the beautiful, newly renovated Lamb Hedeman Auditorium. The performances by senior students and alumni were amazing, and highlighted the incredible talent produced by the school's drama, theater, and music departments. And the audience of families, alumni, supporters, and community members highlight the strong support of these outstanding programs at Dubuque Senior High School. Even more heart heartwarming were the stories shared throughout the weekend about how the experience that students and the alumni had at senior and how it shaped their future path and helped them to grow as individuals. This showcase highlighted everything that is positive about the work of the district. Kudos to all involved in highlighting not only an outstanding new facility that matches the caliber of talent and the individuals of character it produces, but the amazing individuals who bring the educational impact of the district to life. And it was an amazing event, and the comments of the new auditorium and the space went beyond um, what anybody could imagine. So it was very nice to be able to be a part of that. It was, it was very nice. It was they awesome. Gave a special recognition to Fran Hedeman, and she had a few words. Uh, they did. Fran Hedeman was there, and a lot of a lot of alumni came back for that and performed, and it was it was amazing. And they were so talented. The quality of entertainment was amazing. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I have one, um, student athletes. So on the athletic front, we have a number of board salutes for outstanding representation at the state level. Congratulations to the following place winners. Dubuque Senior High School women's bowling team for being named Class 3A champions, state champions, and individual finishers, Jacqueline 
Hachrin in second place and Clara Pregler, who was tied for fifth place. Um, Dubuque Senior Girls Wrestling, Hannah Real, who placed seventh in the state with a 115-pound class. I believe that's the first state meet for women. That is, yeah. So congrats to that. Um, and our swimmers, the Hempstead High School 200-yard freestyle relay, which finished sixth place at state. The Hempstead 200-yard medley relay finished 11th at state. And the senior 200-yard medley relay finished 10th. So congratulations to all these student athletes. Thank you. I have the final one here. I think Jim has oh, one. Oh, and Jim has one. All right. Um, a board salute goes to Dr. Jared Freiberger, Dubuque County Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy Dave Rineker, and School Resource Officers Brandon Gudenkoff and Mark Lorenzen. All four were named Everyday Heroes by the Red Cross of Eastern Iowa for their life-saving efforts in responding to a medical emergency at Dalzell Field moments before Hempstead High School's graduation last year. The life-saving efforts of these four individuals, with Dr. Freiberger and Chief Deputy Rineker being at the ceremony to watch their own children graduate, prevented a medical emergency from becoming a tragedy. Congratulations and thank you to these four individuals for their selfless efforts. And I'd like to give a board salute out to the uh, Hempstead Music and Drama Department for their production of the uh, musical Matilda. A special uh, recognition to Katie Rippey and Hannah Grimm, the directors. Uh, the soloists were great. The uh, choreography was great. Uh, scenery was great. And it was a, a very, it was kind of a complex production, but they carried it out very well. So it was very enjoyable. It was. They did a wonderful job. Yeah. Any other board salutes? Thank you. I move that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into <sighs> open forum. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. So we're going to start with what's going well. From our Sageville principal, Eric Johnson. All right. Pull up my uh, notes here. I had so many that I had to <laughs> hold on. I only got a couple minutes, so I had to really pare down here. <laughs> All right. First, thank you for inviting me up here. Um, finally, in March, the day after spring break. So, after a very calm <coughs> and relaxing day at school, I'm happy to share <laughs> everything that's going well. So, um, to start, obviously, just a few of our Rossum Oxstar students um, coming up and starting with the pledge. They were so excited. They've practiced um, a couple of times on announcements. Some of them were a little nervous, but we made it through, and that was awesome. So um, that was our first one. But um, we recently got an Energy Star Award, um, and I know sharing that right now for our um, reducing energy consumption at our school. We've worked hard on that, but also with our solar project up for discussion and everything still. Um, figured I'd mention that. Um, more important, maybe, sorry, Kevin, than energy costs are our assemblies and concerts that we've been having um, for students this year. They love coming back and being all together and seeing everybody um, together in the gym. We just had one right before break, um, and the students get a few teachers had to kind of plug their ears because we get a little rowdy, but <laughs> they loved it. They love being back, and we love celebrating everything that we're doing school-wide. So concerts and assemblies have been awesome um, to have back this year, and the kids have really loved it. Along with that, partnering with the foundation for some of our school-wide projects has been awesome. Um, this year we did self-care corners in every classroom, and we have um, partnered with the foundation to get books for um, every student each month. So in each grade, all 302 of our students have gotten a new book each month um, of school, and that's going through the end of the year, too. So um, to encourage that reading at home and love of reading, um, that's something that we've been able to do and then celebrate those again at our assemblies when we give out um, books and other prizes. So that has been awesome to partner with the community. Um, instructionally, staff collaboration and um, building um, learning cultures in our school has been great. Um, we're taking about 10 members of staff this summer to a PLC conference in St. Louis. So we're really excited about that and being able to bring that um, back. 
And then last but not least, I'd like to invite you all to our end of the year celebration. Um, it's not all state tests and everything that we do at the end of the year. So Friday, May 19th, we have our spring fling at Sageville um, that has hundreds of people that come um, and even some eighth graders some years that, you know, I don't know how we feel about it. No, <laughs> everybody's welcome back um, as members of the Sageville Storm. But um, if you would like to come to that, feel free. We have food trucks. Um, there's a dunk tank this year. So if anybody wants to be a volunteer with me on that. Okay. I knew I'd get one All at right. least, right? <laughs> no. So we have a bunch of um, fun opportunities and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a really great time for us to celebrate all the work that we've done this year as a staff and, and with our students too. So that's what I have of our things going well at Sageville. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. Thank so you. We tell kids not to be on their phones all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Using notes. <laughs> So any other person wishing to address the board can do so at this time. We ask that you state your full name, your connection to the district, and limit your remarks to three minutes. I move that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. Second. Okay. I moved and seconded that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move the Board of Education approve those li items listed on the consent agenda. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve those items listed in the consent agenda. Would anyone like to pull an item? I would actually. Yeah, I'd like to pull the personnel report. And I know we have we did this, it seems like, you know, a, a few weeks ago, but I just wanted to highlight Julia Jorgensen has been appointed the new principal of Hempstead High School. And so tonight that'll be official um, after the board meeting, but we're really excited about her taking on that new role. Um, for Mr. Colker, who is retiring after, oh, um, like, 30 plus years with the district. So um, we appreciate everything he's done, but excited for Julia's new adventure for sure. So thanks. So all those in favor, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. So that brings us to the facilities and support services meeting from report from Mr. Prohaska. Thank you. I'll kind of give you a little recap of our meeting that occurred on February 6th, and then I'll have some uh, motions to make. Um, we had an update on the current district projects, uh, the senior high addition renovation phase two. The project is about 76% complete. There are some supply issues to work through. Uh, we also had a update on the senior high furnishing fixtures and equipment bid package two, which mainly right now they're working in the classrooms. Uh, then we had, a, uh, again, a report on the Hempstead interca intercom replacement uh, it should be in place for April's uh, facility meeting. Should, we should be able to approve it then. Uh, Central Kitchen Mechanical System Replacement uh, Project will be done by the end of the month. The Roosevelt Middle School Roof Replacement will start uh, in, on June 7th. I believe the last day of school is June 5th right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Eisenhower Elementary School Mechanical System Replacement will also start on June 7th. The transportation uh, fuel tank replacement uh, will start upon delivery of the tanks in June or July. It will be completed by next mid-September. The uh, Lincoln Elementary School Outdoor Wellness Project we will go out to rebid in November. We had a report from Synergistic by Abby, and uh, she's working on, she worked on placing the spring break setbacks and she informed us about there's a competition they have between schools to see who is the most efficient, and I think she awards some small prizes. Um, we are also had a report from Kevin about our key financial targets, and it looks like we're in the right zone. He also reviewed an investment quote uh, from ISJIT regarding the uh, $12 million investment. Then we had a report from Amy and Kevin on the, uh, the next steps we are, that are needed in the process of the geo bonds. Um, we all had a chance to look at the 10-year facility plan, and we've all uh, indicated some projects that we'd like to see part of the plan. Um, and we are waiting basically from Envision 
to give us the figures, the numbers, and to kind of give us uh, guidance on where we should proceed, what the timeline should be, et cetera. And that will be presented at the April Facility Support Services meeting. Yep, that's correct. Yep. Okay, that's kind of it for that, the little report. Um, now I'll move on to make some motions here regarding some of the other projects. And I move that the Board of Education adopt the following resolution, resolve that the Board of Education of the Dubuque Community School District approve Hewlett Packard as the sole source provider for the purchase of client computer equipment and peripherals to be reviewed on an annual basis. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education adopt the following resolution. Resolve that the Board of Education of the Dubuque Community School District approve Hewlett Packard as the sole source provider for the purchase of client computer equipment and peripherals to be reviewed on an annual basis. Is there any discussion? I just want the general public to know that the, by having this, there's a significant savings in uh, hardware uh, for our district, and uh, it's a thing that we renew, I believe, every year. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve final acceptance of senior high school school renovations and additions phase two, FF and E bid package number one project and authorized payment of final cost to Tricon General Construction Inc. in the amount of $11,165.13 in accordance with the requirements of Iowa law and is more fully outlined in submitting authorizing resolution. Submitted, Second. excuse me. And moved and seconded the Board of Education approve final acceptance of senior high school renovations and additions phase two FF and E bid package number one project and authorized payment of final project costs to Tricon General Construction Incorporated in the amount of $11,165.13 in accordance with the requirements of Iowa law and as more fully outlined in the submitted authorizing resolution. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve change order number one to Tricon General Construction, Inc. on the Hempstead High School kitchen upgrade project in the decreased amount of $17,747.50. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education <coughs> Approve change order number one to Tricon General Construction, Inc. on the Hempstead High School Kitchen Upgrade Project in the decreased amount of $17,747.50. Is there any discussion? It's good to see a decrease once yeah, in a while. Yeah, really, that I is. Like that. <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve the executive executed construction contract bonds and certificate of insurance with Blue Sky Solar Corporation for the Sageville Elementary Solar Panel Project in the amount of $332,842. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the executed con construction contract bonds and certificate of insurance with Blue Sky Solar Corporation for the Sageville Elementary Solar Panel Project in the amount of $332,842. Is there any discussion? I'd like to just add, this is our second uh, venture into solar. The first one was here at the forum, and it seemed to be going well. And uh, this project uh, will be uh, out of our Pebble funds. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve the student fee schedule for the 2023-2024 school year. Second. And moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the student fee schedule for the 2023-2024 school year. Is there any discussion? Just to comment that there are very few increases, right. which was wonderful to see. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve the facility rental fee schedule for the 2023-2024 school year. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the facility rental fee schedule for the 2023-2024 school year. Is there any discussion? Again, there are some minor changes, but nothing significant. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. All right. Thank you, Mr. Prohaska, for the report.
You're welcome. Um, I'm going to take the Education Programs Policy Committee report this time, and it was a very short meeting. I think we are done under 30 minutes. Um, I don't know if that that's a record, but it was quite short. Uh, we spent most of our discussion talking about um, kind of the approach to the strategic plan. It's meant to sunset this year, and so Superintendent Hawkins discussed with the board if we'd be amenable or what we thought about the idea of continuing on the major aspects of the strategic plan for another year um, with outcome updates as necessary, um, and then kind of rediscuss it, uh, what we want to do the following year. Uh, and so especially given, you know, Superintendent Hawkins in her first year, um, <laughs> spend eight months, is that right, Amy, yes, that at this it. point? And just, you know, some projects in the air, particularly with the middle school consolidation that will have big impacts on the rest of the district, depending on how that shakes out. It made sense to continue what we've been doing successfully for one more year and then have opportunity to talk about it further um, next year. So that's what we agreed at this point. Um, and then we discussed several policies uh, ranging f a lot of financial stuff, mostly that kinds of things. Uh, one about parent teacher groups and citizen advisory committees. Nothing major that needed to change, all pretty straightforward in our review. And so that pretty much captured our 29 minute meeting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that brings us to new business. I move that the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action on students number 19308248767 and number 18482838302. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action on students number 19308248 876. It's hard to say that many numbers. And number 1848283830. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Are there any board member or administrative issues um, not on the agenda that need to be discussed tonight? Not a timely issue, but I mean, we've been informed by our board secretary that we are officially into the first half hour of spring. So there should be an indicator. Oh, yay. Our, uh, <laughs> warm weather coming, hopefully no more school delays, no, no cancellations, That's the hope. et cetera. We're not saying that until we know for sure, but yeah. <laughs> Very hopeful. I should have thought of mine at the board salutes time, so in a a late belated board salute, but I had the opportunity to go to one of the all district concerts uh, that was held in, in the senior auditorium or in the gym, and it was wonderful. It was kind of miraculous how many um, small children singing were wrangled in the right places and did a great <laughs> job, and also to get to see kind of the improvements and development that happens over the years when you start from the young kids going all the way to the seniors. And the, at the end of the last song, one of the audience members, uh, who was a little girl, I think, said, yay, and it just captured what everybody felt and made us all laugh. So that was a really wonderful event. I know that happened a few times uh, in the last month because it was rescheduled so, time, so many times, but it was great. We have our last one tomorrow night at Hempstead for a band concert, so, yep. They've been busy. I think they've done a total of six. Yeah, yeah so. That's good. All right. There are no other issues. Speaking of fast meetings, we are adjourned. <laughs>